How does the bar design process really work? In this video, I'm going to answer the often asked question of how we're able to design bars without visiting the construction site. Coming up. Bar Designers, International Bar Design. Hey, Rick Usbell again from Bar Designers, where I share my ideas and tips on bar design, draft beer system design, and product reviews. Later in this video, I'll give you today's takeaway. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. Now let's jump into the show. No doubt about it, the internet has made doing business much more efficient. Nowadays, we pay our bills without the need for checks or the U.S. Postal Service. Amazon has become the world's largest retailer, and we order dinner and cab rides from our phones. Certainly, we've all become more trusting of technology, but brand trust has been critical as well. Given all of the above, why shouldn't bar design offer people a similar advantage? The answer is, it already does. We're definitely in step with technology, and in case you're unaware, we're building public trust by being near or at the top of nearly every search category in our vertical on Google and YouTube. We've also earned the respect and trust of numerous owners and architects. Technology and teamwork has enabled us to bypass the costly site visit. People's acceptance of e-commerce has certainly helped us get to this point, but the question remains, how does the bar design process work? Let me explain as we have many options. The most common method we use to design commercial bars begins with the architect's electronic AutoCAD file, shown here. When an architect has already drawn a building and provided us with the general area for the intended bar, shown here and here, our job becomes very easy. The next most common method is a scaled plan of the existing building, a PDF as our next best document for commencing the bar design, as shown here. Number three, a hand-drawn sketch is our next most reliable method. Believe it or not, the sketch shown here was the starting point for one of our recent bar equipment designs. The hand-drawn sketch is fairly common and easy to implement. Obviously, the subject sketch didn't provide much information, but at least it was a solid starting point. I was also given these photos of the bar die, which had already been constructed. These provided a sense of the approximate layout. In situations such as these, I generally prepare my own sketch, as shown here, and requested that the owner's general contractor confirm the measurements that I labeled A, B, C, D, and so forth. The next day, the general contractor sent me an email with the information I needed, and I was on my way. Subsequently, I was then able to move ahead and complete the bar design shown in this plan as follows. Number one, bar equipment plan. Number two, ADA accommodation, shown here and here. Number three, architectural section views, shown here. Bar equipment schedule, shown here. Bar top sizes, shown here. And manufacturer's equipment cut sheets, as shown here in this PDF layout. As you can see, we have many proven methods for establishing the size and all necessary details of your new bar. Given our tools and experience, we can complete nearly any bar design without a site visit. See you next time. Bar Designers, International Bar Design.